What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add text in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now I've been asked to cover this program for so long and I finally got around to doing it. Now I thought for this video we will start off very basic showing you how to add text in Premiere Pro and if you guys want a specific tutorial in Premiere Pro you can let me know in the comments below. Remember I haven't covered anything on this program yet, this is the first time making a tutorial on this. So anything you want to know how to do in this program, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so this is what Premiere Pro looks like. And when you first open it, you might expect the text to be added down here, but it's not. Where you actually have to go is head over to title at the top here, select new. And as you can see, we have three different styles we can add on. We can add a still, we can add a roll, or we can add a crawl. For this, I'm just going to be adding on a still. Now as you'll see right here, it comes up with our video settings. Now the width is 1440 and the height is 1080, of course this will give us 1080 full render. Now some people might be saying, but why not use the width as 1920? Well for me, all of my videos I record and edit and render are 1440 by 1080 so this is just my personal preference. Of course you can use your own if you are on 720 or if you do 1080. Under here we have the time base, if you render at 60fps of course pick 60fps. Me I stay at 30 but I'm going to stay with 2997, still the same thing. The pixel aspect ratio we can leave the same and now the name of the title. Now this doesn't mean what's going to be in the title or what the text is going to say, this is just going to be the text itself. So if you're going to have a lot of text then maybe you can call this main text and then you can just select OK. Now this is what should pop up. Now for those that have followed my Sony Vegas tutorials you may be a bit confused on what to do here. But it's actually very simple. As you can see on the side here we have the type tool, here we have the vertical type tool, here we have an area type tool, here we have a vertical area type tool. Here we have the path type tool and a vertical path type tool. So these are six different ways you are able to use text in Premiere Pro. Now of course for the path tool and vertical path you can't just click it and start typing, you actually need to create a path. And of course for that you can come here to the pen tool. But for this video I'm just going to keep it simple and we're going to use the type tool. So I'm just going to left click and drag out in the canvas here. As you'll see we can now begin to type. So I'm just going to put casual savage. Now of course we need to make the text bigger, it's very small. And the way you do that, if you come up here to the top, it says size. We just left click and drag to the right. As you'll see, this will bring up the size. You can also change the font from here. And I really like the layout on this because it shows the font name and then it shows the style of the font. So all the fonts you have downloaded in the past will also be here. So for me, I am going to be using, let's see. I'll go with the bold font for this. As you can see, it's a bit too big now, so we can just size it down and underneath we can choose how we want it. Now if the font does allow regular italic, bold italic, then it will all be listed here. But as you can see for the bold font, it's just bold. If you want to underline it, then you select this button right here, it just adds a nice simple underline. If you want to change the space between each character, then of course just highlight it and you can use this button here and just drag it out like that, very simple. And of course with these things I've just showed you, you can just double click and you can type them to be more accurate if you would like that. Now we also have line spacing here. So if I just type in YouTube underneath and highlight this YouTube, as you can see we just got a drag up. As you can see it makes the line spacing bigger. Now the next thing we can do, we can position it in the middle, the right or the left. So if I select the center, as you can see it puts all the text in the center. So that's everything covered at the top. But now we come over to the side where stuff may be looking more advanced. But believe it or not, again, it's very simple. So the transform tool, basically choosing how big you want it and the position you want it. The rotation, as you can see, very simple here. Again, to be more accurate, you can just double click here, type it in. The properties, of course, we can just come here and choose our font again. And we can also choose the font style, the font size, the aspect, leading. Now the leading is the... Uh, spaces between the text or the line gap between each text. The kerning is the gap between each character. And now we get onto another feature we haven't been introduced to just yet. This is known as tracking. So if we pop this up, as you can see, basically the line gap, just like that. You also have a baseline shift. Uh, it's completely up to you if you want to mess with these. I don't think they're actually necessary. A slant, completely up to you. 
So this would be a good feature if your text doesn't support italic, but you like italic for this certain text. Now small caps is here. Now what this means, it means the letters would be in capitals, but also small. Now you'll see here on this little box, they are changing. Now that does happen, but not with my font I'm using because it's the bold font. Again, we're introduced to the underline if you want that. And then here we have a distort, so you can distort your text however you would like, it's pretty good. Here is where we choose the color of the font. So here we can have a solid color, which means one color, a linear gradient, a radial gradient, a four color gradient, a bevel, eliminate, and a ghost. Now, to be honest, the last two, I don't know what they are. So let's see what they are. Eliminate, gets rid of it, okay. <laughs> and ghost, gets rid of it again. But for the four color gradient, this means you'll be able to have four colors in one, which will give us a really nice effect. So let's aim for a cyan blue, and we're gonna make it come up darker and darker into a darker blue. So I'm gonna select that for the first color, then I'm gonna come here and go a bit darker, then I'm gonna go to the next point, again make it a bit more darker, and then I'm gonna head over to the final point, right here, and we're gonna make this really dark, like that. And select OK, and that's what we just created, a very nice gradient text. Now, as you can see, it says color stop opacity. Now, if you click on one of them, you can choose the opacity for each individual one, like this, as you can see. Now we just have the top left blue one showing and the rest are off. And now they're all back on. Here we have sheen, which is basically just a line that goes through the middle. Texture, just adding stuff on top of the text. And here we have strokes. We have an inner stroke and an outer stroke. So let's add an inner stroke here. As you can see, it gives us that color. Uh, let's add on a white. So this will be vis visible for us. And as you can see, we can have a type as an edge, a depth, or a drop face like that. So I'm gonna keep mine on edge. For those that want 3D text, of course, depth does give you that type of look. And you can choose the size of it here. So keep it there and can minimize out to this. For the outer stroke, Let's go here and let's add a black this time and we'll put the size up like this. You can also choose the fill type. It doesn't have to be a solid. It can have a linear, radial, four color gradient, or bevel, eliminate, and a ghost. And then of course we have a shadow here, completely optional again. And then here we have a background. Now a background is just a color background. If you're not going to be putting this text on a video as a background, then I recommend you select this button right here, which will put on a black background. Now you can also choose a fill type again. We have all these color options and you can change your color here very simply like that. And you also get to change the opacity. So if there's a, you can put this on top of video, which will give it a nice effect. Okay, so moving on from all of them, come over to the side up here, we have a line. So this can be a horizontal, a vertical, vertical center, and you just get these six different features. Again, you have vertical center. You can also horizontal center, so it centers the text for you. And then you have a distribute, you have access to eight different features. Now, where it says title styles, this is actually really nice presets they've added in here. So if you see one you like, for example, I'm gonna pick this one. This is what your text will change to. And of course, it's a bit too big, so we can just size it down. And of course, you might wanna change it. So if that's the case, you head over to the fill tab and as you can see, they used a four color gradient to do this. So if we want to change the colors, we can just double click one of the boxes or we'll add a black here. We can add the other box and let's maybe go for a green. Then we can come to this box and we'll probably add a darker green here like that. And then the final box, we can just come here and add a black again. And basically just like that, we've edited the preset they provided us with like that. And of course, on top of that, you may think this is a stroke, but it's actually a shadow. So you can come to the shadow section and we can change this to a black as well. And just like that, it's changed. And we've just used the preset and edited it and made it our own. Now, yes, we also do get access to shapes on the text or the type tool. So you can add that in directly in. So if I just come here and just add this on, as you can see, it places on top like that. But then the final thing I wanna show you with this text is how to rotate it. Now you don't need to come to the transform and mess with it from here because it's a bit of a pain coming back and forth like this. What you can do is come up here and it says rotation tool. 
So you can select this and as you can see, whatever we do now, it's just going to be rotating, just like that. Now to be accurate with your rotating, hold shift, as you can see, it's going to be very accurate with the way you shift, or the way you tilt. And once you're done with your tilting, you can come back to the selection tool, and then you have the freedom to move it around again. So I'm happy with that, and once you're done, of course just X out of it, and you're probably thinking, okay I've just created my text, where's it gone? Well, if you head over here to the bottom left, it's going to come under your project. And as you can see, just drag and drop. And it is now in our timeline, just like that. That's the text we just created. Now remember, there was no background to the text, so I'm going to drag on a video and you'll be able to see the video behind the text. So I'm just dragging it into a video into my project here, and I'm going to drag and drop it in. Now currently, the text is behind the video. Of course, we don't want that, so let's just drag the text above it, like so. And now as you can see we have the video in the background and we have the text on top, just like that. Now if you ever want to edit the text just double click it and you'll be presented with the same box again. Now there's a feature I didn't show you and I purposely left it until I imported the video. Up here as you can see it says show background video. If you uncheck this, as you can see you can be working on a blank canvas. But if you've already imported your video and you want to see the video itself, then select this button. As you can see, you can now choose your position freely whilst seeing where the video is as well. So again, just X out of it and it's automatically updated like that and you're done. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if there's any type of tutorial you want me to do on Adobe Premiere Pro, let me know in the comments below or you can ask me on Twitter. I hope you found this video useful. I went really in depth on the text here so it gives you the best opportunity to make the best text in your videos. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate and peace.